The E92 M3 giveaway is in full swing. I'm gonna be giving away my Le Mans 2013, 37,000 mile car, uh, and I wanna give it to the next person dialed in. It's time to do a decontamination, a rebalancing, and a recoding of the stock 359M wheels, which I think are the best wheels on the car. Uh, so I'm gonna show you some clips today of how I'm gonna do that, and then we'll get the wheels back on the car and uh, send it off to the next person in about a month and a half. So make sure to go click on the banner image on the website and you can buy all kinds of stuff uh, that'll get you a chance to win. I think the odds are going to be pretty good for, for the people that uh, buy a few things in the store. I'm going to be giving my car to them uh, in about a month and a half. It's pretty exciting. So these are the stock 359M wheels. I bought a new set from Turner Motorsports when I first bought the car back in 2018. And I took the wheels and I coated them and then I denib the tires and I prepared the tires to accept tire dressing using Stoner's Terminator. But after a while, it's been a couple of years, you know, the coating starts to wear off. It doesn't bead water anymore. It's not really protecting the wheels anymore. So it's time to re-up or redo the coating. So I need to remove the wheel weights, rebalance, uh, and then we'll go through the process of decontamination and then uh, recoding. We're going to use CarPro Deluxe and then CarPro Gliss as our uh, replacement coating. You can see the condition of the wheel. The wheel's in great shape. But there's some funk in the pockets. And then, again, they haven't been washed yet, so the wheels are also a little dirty. We're going to iron remove and fix all that but first thing i'm going to do is rebalance i'm using my hunter road force machine to rebalance and i have to remove the center cap we're going to check our tire pressure and i'm going to remove the wheel weights and then we're going to do our new re road force balancing it makes sense to do this first simply because I may have to take it over to the mounting machine and force match or rotate the tire. So we may need to do that in order to, in order to get a proper balance. Using this 3M tool, that will be the little spatula that I'll scoop and remove the wheel weights. So all you do with this little spatula is you'll scrape and pop the wheel weights like so. I just put some Tarex on here and we'll remove the adhesive. Got the wheel set up. I'm using this rather sophisticated lug pocket clamp instead of our normal clamp, or like they would normally clamp right to the face of the wheel. You can see why these machines are so useful for me that I'm always messing with wheels and tires and always messing with uh, coating and denibbing and rebalancing and all that stuff, so this works out great for me. Always go over to the door, check your Tire pressure needs 35 front, 36 rear. Super, super quality low road force balance. Just have to put a 40 gram weight on it. I've got this really awesome weight system from 3M where it's a metallic, but a rubberized metallic with a really awesome adhesive. And I have it in black and silver. We're gonna use silver for these wheels. And I put the proper scale on here that matches the weights. I'm gonna measure out to 40 grams. And then I just simply pull the trigger to cut. And it didn't come with plastic for some reason. So there's our weight. So then my system tells me where to put my weight, which will be right on that specific line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my wheels, my wheel weight surface prep, wipe that spot down, and then attach the weight. I really wanna find the thinner, fatter versions. So where they're not as tall, but maybe a little wider, they have some different versions of these, but Really, really awesome plates. Okay, so here's the next step. I got some wheel cleaner, which is PNS Brake Buster, and I've got some iron remover, which is PNS, uh, I forget what they call it, the iron, iron buster. I got my Krenzel set up with my OG Spec Mosmatic gun with a 25 degree nozzle on it. I got me 
Ego blower, and I left my stubby at home, so we're just going to use the full Ego blower. Then I'm going to clean the wheels with the wheel cleaner, clean the tires with the wheel and tire cleaner, the brake buster, and then I'm going to hit it with some iron remover, make sure there's no iron embedded, and then we're going to clean up the tires, and then that's what we need to do for decon. Set these up left-handed. Press all bottle. I'm not worried about foaming the wheel here because I have full access, easy to clean. I'm gonna hit the wheels, the tires, the inside, the barrels, the lug pockets. And I'm gonna clean it up with lambskin mitt and race glaze brush and tough shine tire brush. These are the three tools. Race Glaze XL, Tough Shine, Lambskin Mitt. All right, I've sprayed some iron remover. Let's see a little bit of purple, not much. The wheels are in good shape. Just spray the iron remover on, let it sit for three or four minutes and spray it and uh, rinse it off. Yeah, that's dialed. Ready for tire dressing and coating. So everything's dried. Now I'm going to prep for coating. So I'm going to use CarPro Eraser, which is what I have in my press all bottle. Before I do that, I'm going to use some Stoner's Terminator on the tires, clean those up using my little tire towels. Uh, and then I'll do the surface prep and I'll use some pluffles to wipe that down. And then we're going to use CarPro Deluxe and then CarPro Gliss. So I'm going to do a single coat of Deluxe, single coat of Gliss. I'm going to use the coating removal towels for that. And the only other thing I'm not showing here that I need are some gloves. I've got my little Sonic cart and I've got my Source Garage wheel thingy. This wheel spinny thingy so I can spin the wheel, make it easier to do. Uh, when you get into GT3 wheels and stuff, they get kind of big, so I, I use a garbage can, but for these size wheels, this works. All right, so we use the Terminator, and I spray it on the towel directly. I used to spray it directly on the tire, but then you get it on the wheel and you can cause some damage. Uh, and so I spray it on the, on the towel, and then I aggressively wipe, and then clean up the surface. Next step is I'm spraying down liberally with the eraser and then I'm gonna wipe with the puffles and clean up the wheel and just make sure that oils and anything left over any residue left over from the from the decon stage from the cleaning stage is taken care of all right everyone that's a wrap two coats one coat of deluxe one coat of gliss and we got ourselves a refreshed set of 359M wheels. All I have to do is dress the tires and put them on. See you on the next video.